Kudo Miner's latest update. Is it for you? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. So today we're gonna to look into the latest version of Kudo Miner, do a quick how-to on how to set it up and see the profitability on a monthly scale. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Now let's get into it. All right, so Kudo Miner, it's part of my Profit Switching Miner series. If you guys haven't seen that, Link should be popping up here in a second. It's basically where I take a bunch of these profit switching miners, Kudo Miner, Honey Miner, Nice Hash, Better Hash, Cryptics. I put them all head to head over a 24, sometimes a 48 hour span, and then I see who wins in the end. Kudo Miner is usually near the top of the list, but we will find out here shortly because I do have another Miner Cup series, Miner Cup 3, coming out here in a few days. So make sure you subscribe for that. So let's dive in, see what this new version is about and get into actually how to set it up real quick and see the profitability. All right, so here we are on their website. If you guys haven't signed up and tried out Kudo Miner yet, link will be down below. It's real simple. Sign up and download right here. Name, email, download the miner, etc., etc. So here's their actual update page. Here is the current version 23.3. And basically all they did with this version was added support for Monero's RandomX algorithm. Did a little bit of uh, work on their support ticket interface and minor bug fixes and performance improvements, etc., etc. So basically mainly for the RandomX algorithm, which in case you didn't know that, hard forked on November 30th. If you guys are interested on how to actually just mine Monero alone, video should be popping up here shortly as well and at the end of this video. Real quick, are you guys out there using Kudo Miner right now? Simply type a yes or no down below. Yes if you are, no if you're not. If you're not using Kudo Miner, let me know what actual profit switching miner you are using. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback, so do that real quick before we move on. All right, so once you click sign up and download, we'll pull up my NVIDIA rig right here. I put it in its own folder called Kudo Miner, and you just go into here. Once you unzip this file right here, you'll get this little icon right there, Kudo Miner. You just double click on that. It will install, download the miners, and this is what it will look like right here after it's all set up and done. It will take a little bit, probably, I think it was about a half hour to actually benchmark all the algorithms that it has. And once that's done, it'll start mining away. And as you can see right now, CPU of course is on Monero, the new RandomX algo. And it looks like it's mining Ravencoin right now across all 14 GPUs. So if you go over here on the stats, you can see I've been up for almost 13 and a half hours. And a nice little graph, you can break that up through day, months, or years benchmarks so here are the benchmarks ravencoin grin beam etc and it'll just show you the different hash rates that your actual mining rig or gpu has there's ethereum ethereum classic so it looks like it's only about ravencoin there's bitcoin gold in there and of course it'll put the most profitable one up at the top and it'll switch to, let's say grin becomes more profitable it'll switch to that and start mining that at any given time click on settings you want to you want to definitely enable third-party miners and again this will just show you the actual algorithms that are working right now 12 of 13 and cpu algorithm right now one of two and of course you can scroll down there's different settings you can pause the video and look at what i got this is actually how i like it to be done but mainly you want to put enable third-party miners so if you click on back to the dashboard if you see up here at the top we have about 185,972, that should coordinate with your dashboard. Right here, I could hit refresh, and 186,127. So it's pretty close. This number right here is pretty close to what you should have in your actual dashboard, within a 500 Satoshis usually. Monthly earning potential right now is 598,084 Satoshis. So if we Pull up my little handy dandy calculator, 598084 divided by 30 days in a month. 
we're looking at 19,936 Satoshis a month, nearly 20,000. Now, if we pull up my old Miner Cup stats from Miner Cup Challenge 2, you can see Nice Hash 1, there's Kudo Miner. This is the total BTC mine in the 24 hour period. Cryptics actually won that the last time with 18,826. But if you pull this figure up right here, it actually beats all of these this time. So I'm interested to see what will come of this Miner Cup challenge number three. Will Kuda Miner come on, out on top? But we also have to figure in the withdrawal fees. So that's why I actually do these Miner Cup challenges because you just never know. But if you wanted to just take an actual BTC mine value, it's looking like Kudo Miner right now would be on top, but we'll find that out here over the next week and a half as I do this Miner Cup challenge. So we go back over to here and that's pretty much it on the actual setup of the new version of the Kudo Miner. Remember to check out my Miner Cup series, should be popping up here in a second. Also, if you're interested in mining Monero just with your CPU and that's it, that video should be popping up as well. Any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below and I will definitely get back to you. Again, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell. And if you like this content, hammer those likes. All right, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.